Welcome to The Legendary Creatures. In this episode, we will present the griffin. First used in Egyptian art as far back as 3300 BC, the griffin is one of the most widespread mythological characters in the world. It is a legendary creature with the body of a lion and the head and wings of an eagle. His appearance as we know it today is the result of an incorrect ancient paleontological observation brought by long-distance traders to Europe along the Silk Road from the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. This is where fossils of protoceratops and their nest eggs are naturally exposed. These fossils may have been interpreted as evidence of a half-bird, half-beast, and then through the retelling of legends in the centuries to follow, the griffin's likeness became that of a half-bird, half-lion creature. As the lion was traditionally considered the king of the beasts and the eagle was the king of the birds, the griffin was thought to be an especially powerful and majestic creature. Griffins mated for life, and if either partner died, then the other would continue throughout the rest of its life alone, never to search for a new mate. In antiquity, griffins were a symbol of divine power. They were the guardians of the divine. They were also known for guarding treasures and priceless possessions. The griffin figure also took a very significant place in the religious and political fields. In fact, the largest known bronze medieval Islamic sculpture at over one meter tall is that of a griffin, created in the 11th century in Al-Andalus, Islamic Spain. It can now be found in the Museo del Opera del Duomo, or the Cathedral Museum in Pisa. In modern times, the griffin is used in architecture, art, literature, and as emblems for schools, banks, museums, crests, coins, and even as mascots. Also, as fictional characters, griffins frequently appear in fantasy games in numerous books. In reality, some large species of old world vultures are also called griffins, including the griffin vulture. But what of the mythological half lion, half eagle? What should you do if you ever come face to face with this type of real griffin? You run and hide, or just pinch yourself and wake up. Stay tuned for another episode of Legendary Creatures, because next time we will talk about werewolves.